I think as you all can see, we're gathered here around the table here in the base block of Mir, and I think uh, we're demonstrating international friendship and cooperation here aboard an international space complex, shuttle and Mir, demonstrating what we can do in the future as we proceed to International Space Station. Uh, Russian crews, American crews, and, and future international crews all working together. Uh, Shannon, as you're uh, ending your, your mission, wondering what, uh, just what your private thoughts are and feelings as this uh, ceremony is about to happen this morning and you're finally really going to be coming home. And John, just the opposite for you, what your thoughts are, what's going through your mind as your mission is about to truly begin. Mr. DeVos, uh, you know, I'm really happy, and I also feel just a little sad. Uh, this has been my home for six months, and I've had a great time here. Uh, but obviously, I'm very, very anxious to go back to my real home back in uh, Houston, Texas, with my family. Uh, and also, I'm just very, very grateful that I've had this opportunity uh, to experience the, uh, what it's like to live in an international community. It was just great. And I want uh, to thank... Uh, you know, my bosses for letting me do this, and I'd also like to thank all the people on the ground that uh, gave such tremendous, tremendous support as to make it uh, such a pleasant experience for me. And I'd also like to thank uh, Yuri and Yuri, and also uh, Valeria and Sasha, because, um, you know, a person doesn't live by themselves. You live in a group, and uh, working together just was a great time. I've been training to do this mission for uh, the last two years. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, Valori and Sasha are going to be a great crew to work with. Uh, the 79 crew with Bill have been uh, fantastic to me since I returned to Houston and have supported me a lot during the transfer ops, getting all the equipment over here to do the job. And Shannon, uh, I give a big uh, thank you to for having uh, given me such a good handover to work on the Mir Space Station to make my life a little bit easier in the next four and a half months. So uh, those are my thoughts. John, how do you think you'll be feeling tomorrow as you watch Atlantis pull away for t this evening? Well, I, I don't know really. Uh, actually, I'm kind of looking forward to it because we've been so busy uh, with two control centers controlling us that uh, I'm looking forward to the pace slowing down a little bit, which I think it will. Uh, so I'll probably have some uh, other feelings as well, but I, I don't know what those are yet, but certainly it'll be very pretty as the Atlantis pulls away. A few weeks before your flight, you expressed some concern about your uh, need to develop a rapport with your Russian hosts, and I just wondered if you could elaborate a little bit on how that's transformed since you've docked. Do you feel like you've uh, made up some ground? Do you feel like you'll be comfortable and able to work productively? Absolutely. Uh, what you're referring to is a crew change which occurred with the Russians. Uh, in uh, August prior to their launch, and it's correct that I had not trained with Valeria and Sasha, but I had known them at Star City. I would say that uh, what I told you uh, two weeks before launch, uh, I've already learned uh, that these two people are fantastic. Uh, they're going out of their way to help me and help me get acquainted with the mirror and the things we have to do, and any time I have any questions, uh, they really help me, so a big kudo to uh, Valadi and Sasha for all their help. For Commander Reedy, I'm wondering what your reaction was um, right after launch after the APU shut off on its own and whether you have any concerns about landing on two APUs. Well, first of all, we'd already had main engine cutoff, so we were already in space and, uh, and everything that the APUs were supposed to accomplish on asset was already completed. So. We knew that uh, the mission control team would be working this real hard, but the space shuttle was designed with an awful lot of redundancy, and it can fly just fine on two APUs and uh, in, a, in a dire emergency, even one. So uh, I don't think we're really concerned at all. Uh, Terry uh, Wilcott takes care of the APUs and the hydraulics, and we've got procedures that we've practiced time and time again over the years that, uh, that we can use, so I don't think we're really concerned. 
Uh, John, the uh, International Space Station is facing some fairly significant problems in terms of schedule and funding in Russia. Uh, there's issues with command and control. They're all going to be debated this week at an incremental design review. And I'm wondering, you're on the, only, the world's only space station right now, and I'm just wondering um, if you could say something to the negotiators who are meeting in Houston to debate some of these issues, uh, what you might say to, to get the process moving along a little better, per perhaps. Well, that's a pretty big question, and I'm probably the wrong person to answer, but uh, since you asked me, I'll try to give you an opinion. Uh, Without a doubt, the Russians uh, have known a lot about space stations. They at first had the Salute in orbit, and now the Mir has been in orbit for close to 11 years. And uh, I'm sure, having talked with some of my colleagues, that we as an international community need a new space station because after a vehicle's been in orbit for a long time, the parts are starting to deteriorate. And so without a doubt, uh, this experience... Uh, on Mir shuttle has been very positive, and it just shows uh, how much more we can do with the International Space Station. So we really need to press forward, construct the new International Space Station, and and do it together with our, the Russians and the Europeans and the Japanese and all the people in the world, so as to provide new science information that can help improve life for everybody on the planet. I'm just wondering if during your six months up there, if you looked out the window at night when you didn't have anything to do, if you ever reflected on the, the philosophical significance of whatever you want to call it, of being a pioneer or a space explorer. I mean, do you have thoughts like that? Are those the kind of things that you think about from time to time? Oh, I have lots of thoughts all the time. Uh, no, a lot of times, you know, I would just look out the window and I would think, wow, who would have ever dreamed, you know, two years ago? that I would be here. Who would have dreamed 10 years ago that uh, I would have been here? I mean, and I just thought about how strange life is and how many um, odd twists and turns there, there is in life. And I just thought it was just really neat. The Commander Corzon, would you uh, please tell us what you will be thinking about uh, when the hatch is closed and uh, your friend Shannon Lucid disappears behind the shuttle? Well, when the hatch closes and Shannon stays on shuttle, we will be sad. We're already kind of sad because not only are we uh, saying goodbye to a colleague, but to a very fine person, uh, an outstanding professional, an outstanding woman, a very practical person. A, it has been uh, uh, reminding, uh, having a woman on board has reminded us uh, of a kind of a household uh, arrangement. It's been very good having her on board. We will be uh, somewhat sad with her return. But we understand that she wants to go back and see her family, and we will be remembering her. We're at the same time that we'll be feeling sad about Shannon, however, we will also be feeling sad about the farewell with the crew of Atlantis because we have had a very productive session of work here, and these are our feelings. Atlantis Mirror, Houston, oh, we've got a good uh, view there in the base block. Well, welcome aboard the shuttle Mirror Complex, Atlantis and Mir joined together in Earth orbit, two crews together demonstrating cooperation and the future in space with uh, an international space station that we'll build together. I'd like to say a few words in Russian to, uh, to our Russian colleagues, to our Russian hosts who've been so hospitable and who've worked so hard and so well together with us. Dear friends, our prior to closing the hatch, I would like, on behalf of the Atlantis crew, to say thank you for your hospitality and for Shannon. We know that John will uh, work well and exceed all of our expectations. 
that we appreciate not only their hospitality, but also the way uh, they made Shannon a part of their crew and how well we think that, that John is going to do when, when he starts. And what this mission is about is, is ends and beginnings and, and conflicting emotions, I think, for all of us here. Um, beginnings because it begins John's flight uh, with the Frigati, with uh, Valerie and Sasha, and endings because uh, it ends Shannon's flight, uh, record-setting flight here, having concluded six months on orbit. I think all of us, when the hatch closes, are, are probably going to have also conflicting emotions. We'd, we'd obviously like to, to stay, and every time we go past a window and see the mirror, it, it's just an awesome sight. And every time we float down one of the passageways into the hatch and see one of our Russian colleagues working together with uh, a member of our crew, it's just uh, it's really a joy to behold. Um, say something in response to something that uh, Bill Reedy said. Prior to closing the hatch, we would like to thank our American colleagues for the wonderful work that they have performed on orbit, for the well-planned work, and I hope that our cooperation between Russia and the United States in space will serve well for all of mankind. Uh, folks, I'd like to thank you for having flown up to us and that we have done performed such an interesting and good quantity of work that everything has turned out so well and I think that this work of ours, this joint work, will in the future, looking toward the future, be uh, an example of benefit to all of mankind. That's the end of our program tonight. And Bill, uh, as uh, you so aptly uh, stated, uh, even in the greatest of successes, uh, there can be a few moments of sadness. Okay, you can see uh, that we're checking out all the different things. We've got to make sure the crosshairs are uh, installed, the two uh, docking lights are installed. We're waiting. Uh, waiting for the Russians to complete their side of it, which is uh, checking that the, the seal is, is nice and clean on their side. Shaking hands here with uh, Valeri and Sasha. Kind of a bittersweet moment because uh, I'll tell you, they're such great guys and they, uh, they did such a terrific job working with us here in uh, all the transfer and experiment ops. Uh, hatch closing, and you can see the docking cross there is uh, reinstalled.